Hey, this is Matt with Champion with a video on how to diagnose um, your problem component with a Champion Wheelie Bird or Easy Bird auto feed thrower constantly cycling, not stopping. The first thing to check is if your um, machine is constantly firing even with the toggle switch in the off position. Um, so as soon as you hook up to the battery, you start firing no matter where that toggle switch is at. Your issue is going to be with this little black box relay right here. Um, this will, if it shorts out, will always make contact sending power directly to the motor, even with that toggle switch um, in the off position. When working correct, it will only make contact when the toggle switch is engaged. Not very common that that happens, uh, but if that's your issue, then that would be the spot to replace. Um, you can watch the video on how to replace a relay on a Wheelie Bird thrower, uh, or you can watch the video on how to replace the relay on an Easy Bird thrower. Those relays are available at most automotive stores, or you can give us a call here at Champion and we can get one sent out to you. All right. More commonly, your issue will be when you turn that toggle switch on, your machine will constantly start cycling. The first thing and most common issue is going to be this limit switch. Um, this limit switch is what gives you the auto reconking feature of your machine. So it's wired to send power to the motor until this little roller arm gets pushed in to turn it off. Through time, they can work its way out or this little aluminum roller arm can be bent in just slightly giving you a constant firing issue. Um, next, most common issue could potentially be the foot pedal. Um, if the foot pedal is sticking to where it's not springing back up, you don't hear the clicks in the inside anymore, um, that could be causing your issue of a constant rapid fire as well. And the third and least common of the issues could be the power switch itself. Um, that would be an issue to where your power switch is wired incorrect um, to where it's always sending power to the motor instead of running the electronic parts. So there are, there is a way to figure out what component is your issue instead of just going in and taking a guess on what the issue is. What we're going to do is we're going to go up to the front side of the machine. I performed a safe release and I have a lead disconnected from the battery. So I'm not going to have an issue of this arm taking over. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this limit switch. And we're going to go and we're going to remove one of the two wires off this limit switch. Okay. Now to access the limit switch, there's going to be a cover over the top of this. On a wheelie bird, you're going to have four screws, one up here, one over here, and then two on the bottom. You remove those screws and that panel will come straight off. On an easy bird, you're going to have a bolt on up on top over here, one on the bottom, and the same on this side. You remove those and that panel will pull straight off and you'll see this limit switch. So we took one wire off the limit switch, so we took that out of the circuit. Now we're gonna go back over to the back side of our machine. We are going to hook back up to our battery. Now, if this is a limit switch issue, What's going to happen is we're going to turn the power on and the arm will not move. All right, so the arm did not move when I turned that power on. Now I'm gonna take my foot pedal and verify. Each time I tap my foot pedal, that arm's gonna come in. Okay, and it's gonna go and it's gonna fire when it gets to a spot. All right, there we know we have an issue with the limit switch. Usually that can be fixed by doing the adjustment to it. So please watch the video of how to adjust the limit switch with a wheelie bird or with an easy bird. Um, or it potentially could be a defective limit switch. If that's the case, give us a call and we can get you a new limit switch sent out. Now, if when you turn that power switch on, we still have the constant firing issue. We could have an issue with the power switch and the way to verify that the power switch is working fine is going down with that limit switch wire off, we're gonna do push down and do a safe release. So if that arm still comes in, each time we push downward on it and doesn't stop, then we know that the wiring is correct. 
on that uh, power switch. Then our issue would be the foot pedal. So it's very uncommon that the, that the power switch is the problem. Um, but if it is, it's usually from someone had opened it up and, uh, and redid the wiring on the inside. But if it is a foot pedal problem, please watch the video of how to correct a foot pedal that's not working correctly. As always, if you do have further questions, feel free to let us know here at Champion. Thank you so much.